Hi everyone, welcome back to Z Physics. Today we're going to be talking about the difference between the direction of electron flow and the direction of conventional current. In order to explain that difference, let's look at a few examples. We have a couple of circuits over here. Let's just focus on those two circuits up here. We have a cell terminal with the positive end over here and the negative terminal over here. The, uh, the electrons, they essentially they live on the negative end of the terminal, so the direction for the electron flow is going to be across here. So the electron flow will be, so that's the direction of the electron flow, which in this case is clockwise. Now if we look at the other circuit, we can see that the cell has been connected the other way around, which means that the direction of the electron flow for this second circuit over here will be from the negative terminal. The electrons are going to be attracted to the positive terminal, so they're going to be going this way, which is counterclockwise. So in this case, this will be the direction of the electron flow. We can see the trend is that electron flow is always from the negative terminal to the positive terminal. So um, I'm just going to write this down over here. I'm going to say that the direction, the direction for this is negative to positive in terms of the terminals of the uh, of the cell, the battery, or the power supply. Conventional current, though, is the opposite. It is always defined as positive to negative. So um, let me use yellow for this. I'm going to say that in this case, the conventional current is going to flow from positive to negative. So conventional current always flows positive to negative, even if there is not a physical object which is flowing this way. So if in an exam question you're asked what is the direction of the current in this circuit or if you ask to draw the direction of this um, of the current in the following circuit over here the uh, correct answer is counterclockwise which is this way. So this over here is the current also known as conventional current. In this case over here, once again, the electron flow is uh, in the opposite direction to the conventional current, which will be going this way. So let's write that down as current. So once again, just to summarize, electron flow goes from negative to positive, whereas conventional current moves from positive to negative. The conventional current also follows the, um, the, the positive, the direction of movement of positive charge. For instance, I can have something like a car, car battery which has an electrolyte, which is just a conducting fluid which has some free ions. And if those ions are positive, and let's say in this case they're moving to the left, then the direction of conventional current will also be from the positive terminal to the negative terminal. In other words, it is the direction of the flow of positive charge, which is this way. Let's be consistent. I'm just going to use the yellow color for this. So the current will be going this way. And let's apply it what we have just learned to a past paper question. This is question 11 from, I believe, the uh, OCR Bethan Physics AS paper from 2016. We have two batteries which are connected in the circuit with a lamp as shown. Which row is correct? And this will be a perfect opportunity for you guys to pause the video and attempt the question. Okay, well, let's go for the solution. The important aspect of this question is realizing what the 
net power supply will look like. Notice that the 5 volt is um, orientated this way, positive to negative, whereas the 3 volt power supply is connected the other way, which means that this is essentially um, being taken away. So we can draw an absolutely equivalent circuit which will just involve a 2 volt power supply, let's make this a little bit bigger, which is connected to a little bulb this way, like so. So our net, our overall power supply effect will look like a 2 volt a 2 volt battery which is placed like this. So it's asking us for the direction of conventional current. So this is going to be from positive to negative and we can clearly see that this is moving anti-clockwise. So this eliminates the answers to be either C or D. Now because this is a series circuit the current at X is going to be exactly the same as the current at y, so uh, for that reason the correct answer has got to be d, anti-clockwise, and the magnitude of the current is the same at x as it is at y. Okay folks, so hopefully the difference between conventional current and electron flow makes sense now. If there are any questions, please feel free to drop a comment and I shall do my best to answer. I shall see you guys in the next video.